You can play in a championship game in any sport, which would you choose? It's a pretty good topic, table topic master, but I actually like the one that Eric got <laughs> and did not use. So I'm going to make a brand new sport. Uh, many, many years ago, when I was teaching over at Eastmont, we had a teacher who had to leave uh, for a whole semester for medical reasons. We had to reshuffle our entire English department schedule. And I don't know how this happened, but I ended up with the creative writing class. And I told them, this is a poor idea. I can write essays really well, but I can't do fiction very well at all, and I positively cannot write poetry. And short fiction and poetry were two of the essential elements of that creative writing class. So I spent a whole semester trying to come up with things to get the kids to do, and I didn't have any idea what I was doing. But one day, in desperation, I hit on the notion of asking them to invent a new sport or a game. And one of the kids in this class, I think, was there by mistake. He was a guy in the Future Farmers of America, and he sat in the back of the room looking stunned most of the time. <laughs> but he came up with the most phenomenal game I've ever heard of, Bulldog Smoke Ring Blowing. <laughs> and the way it worked is that you would sit in a chair with a bulldog clamped between your knees, and you'd stick a cigar in the bulldog's mouth, and then pop the dog <laughs> on your knees. And the idea was to measure the size of the smoke rings. And I thought, how genius. I mean, it combines a whole bunch of great things that everybody loves, you know, animals and fine cigars and contest aspects, too. And I thought, actually, I'll bet people would pay money to see bulldog smoke ring blow. <laughs>